gentleman from Illinois is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise to urge my colleagues to support this on block amendment, which includes mine and Representative Porter's amendment to improve booster seat safety. In December, my Oversight Subcommittee on Economic and Consumer Policy released a concerning report on the safety of booster seats for children. Booster seat makers have been marketing their booster seats as safe for 30-pound children, a standard not recommended by experts. And these makers have been left largely unregulated when it comes to side impact testing. Some makers gave passing grades to booster seats because the seat maintains its structural integrity. Meanwhile, the dummy was damaged. And we all know what a damaged dummy equates to, the severe spinal cord or other injuries to a child. We expect the products we buy to be tried and true, but sadly that is not the case with booster seats. And when it comes to our children, we cannot continue to stand idly by. My amendment would require NHTSA to revise their rec recommended minimum weight for a booster seat to 40 pounds and would require booster seat makers to produce labels that display recommendations clearly for parents. Thank you so much, and I yield back.